there have been a ton of small bite-sized stories that have been happening with Xbox recently. So in this video, I kind of gathered them all up together into one large chunk. Timestamps in the description if you guys want to check it out. If you guys like these news videos that have a little bit of everything in them, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. And of course, subscribe to keep yourself up to date. We have some Starfield news, some Halo news, a new Xbox controller, Microsoft continuing to fix more servers for their old games. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. It was recently announced by the Gamescom Twitter profile or X profile, however you want to put it, cited that Xbox and Bethesda will be joining Gamescom this August. With Phil Spencer replying to it saying, it's been many years since my last Gamescom. I'm looking forward to attending and seeing the community at the show. Rather general, nice pleasantries there by Phil. You know when you see Xbox and Bethesda at the same show for this year, they're going to be talking about Starfield. While I don't expect any bombshell reveals when it comes to Starfield, maybe some nice things to know about the game, because we got that huge Starfield Direct, right, at the big reveal. That was the big showcase to let everyone know what the game is all about. I think what we're going to see here is kind of maybe another trailer that'd be kind of just like the same thing, but maybe just a little different. Maybe some more information about like how planet generation works, exploration, customization, all those kind of things that we are already know for the most part, but maybe some more granular detail stuff. For my years of covering Xbox news here on the channel, the Gamescom thing hasn't really been a huge place for Xbox to make big announcements, right? They usually just do that themselves, usually in June for their big reveals. While we're on the topic of Starfield, it turns out Microsoft actually pushed for the delays of the game. Phil Spencer recently spoke on the Giant Bomb podcast and said, truth be told, when the acquisition closed, this game had a significantly earlier ship date than where we are actually launching in. He cited that this extra year that they gave to the team basically just said to give them time to finish the game and reduce the amount of bugs. This also kind of rides off of the back of what Matt Booty said that Starfield will be the least buggy game by Bethesda ever. And they cited that they have the majority of Xbox's QA team working on this game to make sure that when it does ship, it actually functions properly. There's a lot riding on Starfield as this really is the first major release by Microsoft Bethesda since the acquisition. And also Microsoft's really trying to get a good exclusive to give people a reason why they jump into the Xbox consoles because their current exclusives, while good, haven't really been anything that's a console seller. This game, Starfield definitely will be. Continuing on with the Xbox news, they released some interesting stuff talking about a pizza scented controller. This is a tie in with the promotion of the Teenage Mutant Turtle movie, Mutant Mayhem coming out soon, where you have four controllers styled after each iconic character covered in a green ooze look. And then you have a gigantic pizza slice on the back, which has a diffuser on it that you fill with a pizza scented liquid. So while you're playing, you can be truly immersed in your Teenage Mutant Turtle pizza adventure. I mean, just look at this image like, ah, oh, yes, pizza. You cannot actually buy this controller though. You have to enter into a sweepstakes, which is by following Xbox Game Pass on Twitter and retweeting the official Xbox Game Pass sweepstakes tweet. And the giveaway runs from July 24th through August 13th of this year. If you're unlucky to not win this controller, but live in the New York City area, you have a chance of checking out the pizza center controllers by going to the Microsoft Experience Center on Fifth Avenue in New York City from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on August 2nd. Though it does look like here with this image that you don't have to have the pizza infuser on your controller, though I highly suggest you should. But this is just something that's just crazy. I've never seen a controller do, so I had to talk about it. For the Halo Infinite news, we're talking about Tatanka being removed from the API, a coding you can earn for playing the game, season five content, as well as a community BTB playlist coming in. So let's dive right into it. Our favorite leaky boy, Sir Asia, said in the weekly Infinite API update, it brought in training mode, which has ordinance delivery system, similar to Halo 4, it seems like. Or they could have taken the ordinance system from a current BTB playlist and put it into training, which is a pretty cool system. I think this is more of a tie-in to what we're going to mention a little bit later with the Halo news. Super Husky Raid and Husky Raid CTF were added to the API. If you guys don't know, there is currently a contest going on right now for Halo Infinite, where people in Forge will create their favorite Husky Raid mode and map, and then be able to have it played into a playlist. This most likely will come with the update in Season 5 coming in October. We haven't really heard much on an update when it comes to what to expect, how many maps and modes, stuff like that. So this is our first mention of actually hearing something about Husky Raid since it was first announced 
announced months ago. A new map has been added to the API called Prism, which is supposedly the rumored Crystal Caves map, which I can't show on the channel here because obviously it leaked information, but I guarantee if you type in Halo Infinite Crystal Caves, you'll find some images. It seems like all references to Tatanka, the rumored Battle Royale mode, have been removed from the Halo API, which we've been covering this rumored Tatanka mode for over a year now. And this entire year, there have really been zero updates to the API when it comes to Tatanka. If rumor has it that development has completely stopped for this game mode, as I'm sure Microsoft and certain Infinity are trying to figure out what to do with Halo in the future, because obviously Halo Infinite didn't really seem to land them. So anyone holding out hope for a Halo Infinite Battle Royale, I wouldn't hold your breath for it. Though there is a mid-season update in certification right now for Halo Infinite, meaning we should get some kind of significant update to the sandbox and different elements of Halo Infinite before the release of Season 5, and of course, we'll cover it here on the channel. There's currently an exclusive coding as well. If you play at least four hours of Halo Infinite before August 17th, you'll earn the Corrupted Hex Bulldog coding, as well as four double XP boosts and four challenge swaps. I was able to find some posted images online and you can see, yeah, it looks like the Corrupted Hexes that we've had previously, so that's a nice little upgrade for you right there. The biggest rumor we've been seeing for Halo Infinite right now is campaign AI coming to the game. We do know this is currently in development. It's been in development for the last few seasons, but we haven't really heard much of an update on it until, well, recently with leaked out information where credible leakers have cited that Forge will have campaign AI available for you to utilize to make a Forge Firefight mode, which has been long rumored for Halo Infinite. This will be amazing for Forgers to craft an AI driven experience when it comes to their gameplay to create firefight maps potentially. So I would say we most likely would have to wait another season before we see like a matchmaking place with user generated content for campaign AI. Though I'm sure you'll have plenty of custom game browser experiences to have within season five. Of course, this is all leaked information, so take it with a grain of salt, but most of the leaks for Halo Infinite have been very true. And remember that ordinance drop addition to the API that we saw earlier in this video? Well, that's most likely because Michael Shore recently said on Twitter that there is a community BTB playlist in the works right now, but he doesn't have anything more to say than that. This is the first time hearing any kind of user generated content for the Big Team Battle playlist. And most likely that ordinance drop has been added into the API, meaning that testing out in Forge content, you can have an ordinance drop like you can in regular BTB to mirror that experience. My only concern is that you have regular BTB, squad battles, and you have a community BTB playlist thrown in there. That's really dividing up the player base a lot. So community BTB might take over squad battles, which I currently is a fan favorite top five played mode right now. Microsoft recently fixed the servers for the legacy Call of Duty games. When a lot of people have gone back and played them, it's been really great experience. They're doing that for another game franchise now. The Gears of War franchise from 1 through 3 have all had their servers matchmaking online experience fix up so where it's functional you can jump in and play. It's very interesting that right about now we start seeing Microsoft fixing up these servers that have been in shambles for so many years. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with this Activision acquisition knowing that the Xbox platform will have a huge influx of players coming in they want to jump in and play some old maybe signature Xbox games that they want to make sure those those games are working. That's my conspiracy theory on the whole thing, but right now we know that Gears of War 1 through 3 works online, which is fantastic. So let me know what you think about the news stories in the comment section down below. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.